Here are some key tips on your application essays. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are visiting for the first time, my name is Zanele. If you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe button below. Remember to also press the notification button so you get notifications every time I upload new content. Start a series on the MBA. Um, there have been a lot of requests around some content and a lot more detail in how to go about applying, what one can expect, and so on and so forth in the MBA. We have focused a lot on the GCC and some on the PR Eng, and some of you guys have been requesting a lot more around leadership strategies, around business, and around on the MBA. So if you're looking to take that first bold step in applying for your MBA, here's some strategies that you can apply so that your application stands out and that'll give you a greater chance in being selected for your program. Okay, first things first, so now you've selected the program you want to be a part of, right? If you haven't seen the previous video where I share about the different accreditations, please do check that video out because it may give some guidance on the institution that you want to embark your MBA with. You also need to review and look at the program you want to take part in. Is it a full-time MBA? Is it a part-time MBA? Is it a blended course? Is it modular? So different institutions have different offerings. So do look at the institutions, look at the different offerings, look at the accreditations, and look at whether it's suitable for your lifestyle and where you're at in your life right now. So once you've established where you want to start taking your MBA, or if you've got one or two options, you now need to start preparing on your application. You want to start as early as possible so that you don't rush things. There'll be a couple of requirements. Some institutions want you to take the GMAT or the SHL test. My next video will be on that. Some institutions want you to have a number of essays and not just one motivational essay, which is what I'll discuss today. Um, your CV needs to be updated. You may need to um, be interviewed by some institutions as well. So you want to have sufficient time to prepare. So today I'll speak about what to do and what not to do when writing up your essays for application and how you really want to structure them so that you do stand out. So the first tip is find out if there are selected topics for you to write your essays on. So at face value on the brochure, even on the faculty page, they may just indicate and say, we need you to write an essay or two essays or three essays with no substantial detail. But if you upload the brochure, there may be a bit more depth on the topics that they require for that particular year and the length of the essay. So the first tip is find out the exact requirement for your application essay. Because reading it at face value, you may assume that you can write on any topic that you want and then you actually miss the criteria. So first things first, read the instructions instructions, understand that you're applying and writing an essay that is obviously complying to what the requirements are. So you may find that they change the topics every year. So it's important to know what topic you're writing on. It's important to know the length, the maximum length of the essay that they require, because one of the things that they may be wanting to test is that you can land your point and tell a story in a concise manner. So take your time and reflect on the types of stories that you want to share. There would have been a lot that's happened in your life. So try by all means not to share stories of your achievements or what happened in your high school days. Speak about what's relevant, speak about what's recent, and speak about what has big impact. Just speak about your most recent stories or the biggest impact scenarios or situations that you've been exposed to, have been a part of, that will stand out, and not about how you were the best prefect in high school, right? Because they want to see who you are, the type of person that you are, and who you've matured to become in your current being or state or where you are in your life right now. If there is something crucial or critical or turning point that happened in the past to make and shape who you are now, then by all means do consider that as well. But do try as far as possible to be as current, as relevant, and share the most recent examples that you can. Like how they taught us in school with essays, do have an introduction, a body, and an ending. So what you're wanting to show is that you are a structured individual, that you do have a sense of, that you do have logic in how you tell your story. So a key tip is for you to share your beginning, middle, and end. Start with a catchy introduction, then have the meat within the body, and then end it with something that'll keep the reader wanting more, wanting to meet you, wanting to make sure that you come to campus. They can get to know this person a lot more and unpack whatever they would have seen in that half page or full page essay. So one of the things that I've seen in some essays being written is that an individual will write in the third person. Zanello went to the shops and went to buy milk. And it makes it feel so impersonal. So what you're wanting to do is to connect with the reader. So it's okay to speak in the first person and speak about I, we, and so on and so forth, because you're wanting them to get to know you a lot better. This is the first impression of yourself that the selecting body will see. So they won't get to meet you. They won't get to speak to you until you pass on to the next stage of your application process. So you want them to get a flavor of who you are from your essay. So speak in the first person. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Also, be as real as possible. What you're also wanting to do is make sure that you check 
check and recheck that your grammar is correct, that your spelling mistakes have been corrected, that you've got your full stops and your commas where you want them. Pay attention to detail. Those small things may be an indication or reflection of how seriously you take your work as well. When writing your essay, try by all means to write a story. Try and take them on the journey of where you've come from, where you are now, and what and how this MBA will then help you transform into someone better and stronger post the qualification. One of the things to consider as well is that you don't have so much time and space um, or even the length of the essay to write in examples of every single thing that's happened in your life. So if there's an essay, and I'll use a very common example is with the list of with your achievements, so share what your achievements are and what you're looking to get from this MBA. It's human nature for us to want to list all of our achievements from when we were young to where we are now. But it may be a lot more impactful if you speak about the one or two biggest achievements, the ones you're most proud of, and then centering your story around that. That way, it gives your reader a flavor and a feeling of achievements that you've had as a focus point and it's something that they can and will likely remember, as opposed to listing all your achievements and them not actually remembering which one is your biggest or the significance around that achievement or the story that leads to that achievement and how it shapes or translates to who you are. If there is a number of words limit, try by all means to stick to that limit. Don't try and think you're overachieving by having pages and pages of an essay to show that you can have a lot more content than everyone else. You can imagine the number of applications that come through. So you want to make sure that you're not sidelined for not following instructions, but that you have something that's short, concise, but that's so meaty and so impactful that the reader will want to have more of you. The basics are always there. Remember to always have a title or a heading for your essay. Some institutions will ask you for more than one. So you don't want them to start reading your essay and only get midway for them to then understand what it is that you're talking about. So do try and number them, your different essays. Do try and give them headings. Things. Do try and be creative with the type of heading that you give as well in your essay. If you are interested in an example of how to write an essay, I'll share a copy or a link below to an example of an essay that I wrote as well. So do leave your comment below or even feel free to DM me and I'll share an example of my essay. Remember that this is the first impression of you. So do take the time to think it through and pass it on to people that you trust for them to give you a review on your essays as well. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and you for change, shop.